Aquarius, welcome to your May weekly love read. This is where I'm going to check in with the person on your mind, see who you're thinking about, see what's going on, the situation. So I'm going to pull a card here and see who you're connecting with and the possible energies around this entire read. All right, so here we go. We have the Emperor, okay? The Emperor, though, but it was in reverse. So I'm going to see how that plays out. It could be an Aries or even a Scorpio. I sometimes think with the Emperor card, too, because of the fiery Mars energy of that. But let's see what's going on with your person. It's somebody who might not be taking action right now, a masculine energy, your divine masculine, possibly. Um, they just don't have everything in order. And in, in their lives or the situation might be in a little bit of a um, chaotic type of energy right now. All right, so let's just see why. Okay, let's take a look at your person. I have the Cupid's arrow though, so there's a lot of love here. All right, the two of you or you have been struck struck by the arrow. Erotic activation, very sexual connection, okay? That's what's going on here. And you may be wanting more with this person and they're just, they don't have the, they're not, their life isn't in order or something's not in order with this situation. Get one more. You might be thinking about leaving this person, saying goodbye, all right, if they don't um, make something of this situation. So let's just keep going. But you two are very, very sexually attracted to one another. You um, communicate and bond on this level, which is why you may be having a difficult time cutting the cords with this. All right, crossroads. Yes, you're at a crossroads right now. You're, you're not sure what to do. Do I stay or do I go? Do I fight for this? Um, do I move on? I don't want to compromise um, my integrity. I don't want to compromise my health, my mind, okay? Um, but the two of you may come to a compromise as well, too. But we have mask hair showing up. So somebody's not showing their true authentic self. So that could be what's bothering you, too, is you know this person has a lot of feelings for you, yet they are unwilling to um, accept them and do something with this relationship, all right? So those are the cards I want. You know how they truly feel because you're feeling it within that bond that you two have. That sexual connection um, is when, you know, we bond, when the truth comes through. And it's confusing you. Um, but again, you want the whole, the whole thing. You want everything. Let's take a look at the, the situation at hand. All right, you, the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. So you are very, very in tune with your feelings right now. Very, very in tune with this bond, okay? it's This triggered something in you, and um, you're very sensitive and very deep, and very um, in tune with this connection. Very, It's a very deep connection for you, okay? But here we go. The problem is you're feeling rejected and left out. Like, you feel like this person's not choosing you. You feel isolated and alone. Um, you, When you're with this person, they make you feel like you're their everything. And when they're gone, you know, they're, they're, they're non-existent, okay? They just leave you feeling as if, you know, everything in that moment that you have with this person seems like the end-all be-all. And then when they disappear from your life, you feel like uh, completely goes from zero to, uh, from 100 to Z, back down to zero, okay? Nothing. And it's really affecting you. It's causing triggers to come up. Fears of rejection, fears of abandonment, self-worth. You know, what's wrong with me? Why isn't this person, They know. I know they feel for me. <clears throat> I know their true self. I know how they really feel. Why are they not facing <clears throat> the, the, um, the relationship? Why are they not listening to themselves? Okay, so what's the foundation here is the two of wands, indecisive energy. Okay, so that's, two, you know, you have a lot of twos here, two so far, and it's about union. Okay, so those are your numbers too, your guiding numbers, your syn numbers of synchronicity. But there's, there's a decision that needs to be made, and we're going to look at what this decision um, needs to be. Is this, this is either you wanting to walk away, or you're wondering if this person will make a decision to leave a situation, if that's the case. Okay, in the recent past here, the death card in reverse. Okay, so this was this is telling me that there is some change, some change that was happening. So something started to move with the two of you, and then it just stayed in limbo. There's a pause. 
okay? Things were going really good, and then there's a pause, but here's the good thing about this card, though. It's not over. When it's in reverse like this, it could be with a Scorpio that you're connecting with, strong Scorpio energy, um, but it's it means that it's not over. The cycle is not completed yet, but you cannot move forward until you feel like this um, situation has a closure, okay? Your crowning energy is the Ace of Wands. You can't stop thinking about this person. You want this new passionate beginning. You want something to come of this. You're manifesting this person in. You're constantly thinking about this person. This person has the same mutual passion for you, okay? When you think of them, they're thinking of you. So even if you don't realize it, they are. You guys have a deeper, deeper connection, deeper sexual, that's sexual energy connection so when you guys you guys are really hot for one another okay in the near future we have contact okay so we have somebody that's always my no contact and healing card but when it's in reverse it's telling me somebody's coming out of if they're if they're if you have very limited or hardly no contact at all with this person during the times when you're not together if you're going to see movement here soon this person is going to actually start um communicating a lot more with you Okay, but let's continue. You. Let me see you. All right, you're losing confidence. The Leo card in, in, in um, reverse here. So you're losing confidence over the situation. You're having a hard time holding back your feelings, holding back self-control. You may over-text this person. You may over-communicate with this person. You may get really emotionally intense with this person. And you just, you know, it's because all these triggers, all these wounds are coming up for you. All these why. Why we have this such this deep connection with one another. Why? Why is it different when you're away from me? Okay, so it's really, it's really hard. It's really doing a number on your self-confidence. Okay, it's really doing a number on your self-confidence. So your person here is the nine of uh, cups in reverse. So they're not, this isn't a desirable feeling, a desirable card for them, okay? They're not doing what makes them happy. They're not doing what makes them happy. Okay, so whatever situation, and I'll clarify that, whatever situation is going on with your person, it's not making them happy, and it's not making them happy what they're doing to you as well. So your hopes and fears is to release the stress, right? You want these burdens to be gone and you want to start something with this person. This is really, really stressing you out. It's, it's bringing you down. Okay, possible outcome here is a painful ending in reverse. So there's a chance here that this person is going to go through some sort of painful ending with whatever they're dealing with, or you may walk away from this and heal from this, but we're gonna take a closer look because that card can mean a lot of things, okay? So let's take a closer look. All right. So you are really in your feelings, Aquarius. Really in your feelings. You have that water energy around you. You are the water bearer. But if you have water signs in your in your um, chart, like you really are deep. And this is really a deep wound. Like this is hitting you hard. You're sinking deep. Okay. So let me cut. Here we go, the five of pentacles, yeah. You have lack of communication with this person. This person's at a distance too. It could be travel involved too. That's why they don't come to see you enough. You know, they, it could be um, only a once in a while thing. And when you're together, you think it's it, it, this is it. But there's a lack, what's, what's, what's causing you to feel isolated and alone and really sort of depressed here is that there's a lack of communication between the two of you um, when you need it most, okay? Um, and they, it's almost like they feel like they know when they see you again that they can heal this. So they get away with it. So you have to create a boundary. Okay, that's why you're, have, you're coming up with the crossroads and the planning and decisions. Like you really need to make a decision. Do I stand my ground? I love this person. But if I keep allowing them to say sorry and then, you know, because when we're together, everything's amazing. You know, do I allow the times in between to be so painful for me? Okay, so that's really what's happening here is you're not getting the communication that you that you want and it's killing you. Okay, so we have the two of wands here. Yeah, the sun card. You don't know, you, you need to make a decision here. You want to be happy. You want companionship with this person. You want the, the everything. You want to feel good. Okay, and you're in the, your mind so bad. You're not feeling good and you're used to feeling pretty good. Okay, you miss that feeling of just waking up and just feeling, you know, like everything's great in your world. So this feeling that you're feeling right now, this uncomfortableness, this isolation and this rejection or this, you know, this, these heavy burdens that you're feeling are not your normal. And in, in your subconscious, you're just like, I've got to, you know, your higher self knows you have to do something about this because it's not, it's weighing heavy on you and you're not the, in the, in the um, energy that you wish to be in. 
So in the past, right, we have we have the pause here, which caused some confusion. Everything was going great, and then all of a sudden everything slowed down, and you got really, really confused. Why? All right. Well, there was no, lack of communication, lack of communication, and when you would try to reach out and communicate with this person, this person didn't even show, and they didn't even respond. Okay, so you were stressing out and this person was not even fighting, wasn't even fighting to communicate with you and let you know what was happening. Let me get one more. Okay, yeah, there was a lot, all of a sudden there was a pause in communication. Everything was going great and then boom, a pause. And this person wouldn't even tell you, tell you why. Okay, so the Ace of Wands here with the Ace of Swords. So you want somebody to come in, be clear. You want to break through awareness. This is awesome crowning energy though, okay? So this is the energy of the two of you. What you really should know is that you are connected on a higher level. You are both, you know, you want this, all right? But you most importantly want communication. You want clear, clear communication. You want this person to bring, you know, you justice, clarity. You want a breakthrough. You want to know what the hell so that you can just move forward, all right? We think about each other so much. I want this. I want this new beginning. I want you to come to me and tell me why, okay? And we have in the near future, you will get communication here. Look at this, an apology. You will get communication, you will get an apology from your person, all right? They're going to, will they come clean? Will they come clean? I have the Ace of Pentacles. So you have three aces in this in this read, okay? So they will come clean, they will give you an apology and you guys will have a fresh start, okay? But how that fresh start, you know, this is just showing you in the near future. Is this gonna be another cycle of the fresh start? You know, where everything's good, you're together and then they go away again, that we'll have to see. Okay, the, the, you here, okay, you need to, you're losing sleep and you're insecure because you have no contact right now. That's clear. We've already discussed that. Your person here, why is the nine of cups in reverse, all right? Because they're in a relationship that's unrequited and they're not getting what they want. The ace of wands in reverse. Remember, that's your crown and energy. They are not, you're their wish fulfillment. They do want to be with you, but they're hiding behind some sort of facade. So maybe they're committed to somebody or they have to keep, stay up to a standard. Maybe your relationship with this person is taboo, you know, something like that. But this person is afraid to, to, um, to leave their comfort zone to have what they want. Okay, they're afraid to leave their comfort zone to have what they want with you. Okay, but it's unrequited. Whatever they're, whatever they're dealing with is very unrequited and not what they want. All right, so your hopes, fears um, is the heavy burdens, the stress that this is weighing on you, all right, because you're not getting the communication that you want, Aquarius. You're just sitting there. You're on guard. You're evaluating the situation, and on every corner that you go in your mind, it's stressing you out, all right, and you want this stress to end. So you have two tens here. You have the ten of wands, and you have the ten of swords in reverse, which is all about completion. So you will have, you will have a breakthrough in this in this situation when this person comes in in the near future here. This is a weekly read, so, you know, however, give or take a few days, but they will apologize. They will apologize and want to start something with you. So clarify the Ten of Swords, yes. So you, you guys will heal from this. They're going to open up and be clear with you. They're going to set things straight with you. They're going to set things straight with you clearly, okay? And they're going to tell you how they feel. I'm going to get a quick card here to see, you know, what they might be thinking, what they might say. And then I'm going to go into the extended where I'll dive further into the next one to three months. And I'll see how this progresses. And I'll see how they truly feel about you. Um, possible challenges, the mutual energies here. And again, like how it progresses over the, the summer. Okay. And I'll look at any hidden truths that you may also need to know about this person. My heart is telling me just do it. Okay. You're right on the verge here. You're right on the verge of a breakthrough of awareness, okay? This person is going to come through and they're going to take down the mask. Where this goes from there, we'll have to look. We'll have to see, okay? But in the current energies, you will get the apology you want. And they are being, their higher self is telling them to just go for it and do this. They don't want to have this missed opportunity with you, okay? I love you guys. Please like, subscribe. Check me out on TikTok, Frankie's underscore tarot. And I'm on Instagram. I do different reads over there. I also do manifestation videos. And I have a manifestation group on Facebook. So we have a great time over there. I do all kinds of free video, free content, guys. Why not? All right? I love you guys. I'll see you in the extended.